Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vessi. I hope you guys are staying fabulous. So yeah, we are having a different look because this is a very very serious video. <laughs> it's not a serious video. If you see me appear like this, that means this video is gonna be really funny. So grab your popcorn and sit down and watch. Okay? If this is your first time stopping by on my channel, I'm very much grateful. I do hope that you join the family very, very soon, like right now. Okay? Alright, so as you can tell from the title today, guys, just you guys will have to be counting alongside with me because I'll just be giving you the gestures like that, okay? I'm gonna be giving you top 10, 9, wherever I stop, please count, okay? I'm gonna try and be counting with you guys. So, I'm gonna be giving you gestures, top 10 Nigerian gestures that you should watch out for. All, I mean, you should just, it's, it's a fun video, okay? So we're here to laugh and don't take anything seriously. Most of us Nigerians actually fall on this table and some people that are not Nigerians are wondering why, we, why do we act this way? Why do we do this? Okay, so if you want to find out why Nigerians do this and you want to know which of the table you fall on, like what it actually means, you're having, I mean, you find yourself doing these expressions and you don't really know what it means, then sit tight and watch, okay? All right, number one. Is the eye rolling this is very popular i don't know if it's just nigerians that do this but it's a very popular one i don't know if you guys can see from the glasses like i need to bring it down <laughs> this could mean are you all right and especially if a rich person is like <laughs> this is too much of a nollywood like and who are you who do you think you are it could mean don't be stupid. <laughs> it could also mean I don't have time for this rubbish. As in, I, I don't have time for this nonsense, okay? All right, guys. <laughs> That's number one. I know that it could actually mean a whole lot. Let me put back my glasses because, as I said, this is going to be my look for this video. So, the next one we're going to be talking about. See, I'm relaxing today, okay? So the next gesture we're going to be talking about is <laughs> the snapping of hands. I don't know if what they call it, if this is like a snap or you guys should give it a name because some of them, I just don't know the name to give them. Do you understand? Like, we shall see. Now me, they try, Abby. You're trying me. I'll come for you. Or, hmm. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, see, most of them don't really come to mind because there, there are a whole lot of reasons, meaning to these gestures, okay? But the one that tops it all in all the reasons is this one. Like, we shall see. This we shall see. It's like this. Do you understand? So when they do you like this, or when you do to somebody, <laughs> I don't know what you actually mean, guys, but... Basically, I feel the general meaning to this is we shall see. Yes, every other reasons are primary or is it secondary or which one you guys shall understand. Do you get? So that's number two. So number three gesture, I'm gonna be talking about. Hey, this is one of my favorite guys. This is one of my favorite because you know why? Most Nigerians fall on this table. Nobody is a saint on this one. Most of us do it. Am I lying? Am I lying? Or you're right in the comment. Let's watch out. The one that you like, you just are your friend. Especially, let me explain to those that are not Nigerians. When you're in public and you're trying to point somebody, like you're trying to point someone out in the crowd, telling your friend that, oh, this is the person I'm talking about, or blah, blah, blah. Like, ah, just take a, take a look at how this person dressed. You know? Just, it's a gossip sign. Do you understand? <laughs> This is basically, in fact, a gossip sign because I don't know what else to call it. This is purely a gossip sign. You just see them like pointing with mouth, like pointing mouth or pointing with mouth. Like, look at this one. That's number one gossip. And it also means, see this one. Wait till this one they feel like. <laughs> Are you all right? Like, see, it could mean a whole lot, guys. It could mean a whole, whole lot. Yes. 
So if you know another meaning to this particular gesture, leave a comment as well. We are going to be engaging in this video. So if I'm not looking so okay or doing it well, you guys have to forgive me. All right. So the next gesture I'm going to be talking about is the hands on the head. Ewo, have you heard? Out of all the gestures in Nigeria, guys, most of them actually mean gossip signs. Okay. Like the meaning could be gossip. Next gesture I'm going to be talking about is the, it's very popular. A lot of people use it. I think not only Nigerians, like think about it. Think about it. Like use your head. Okay. Do you understand? Use your head. Then I know it means a whole lot. So if you know another meaning to this gesture, please leave a comment. Next gesture I'm going to be talking about is the popular African mother's own. If you don't have sense or you're stubborn or you do this one, you see this your ear. By now, our ears must have pulled out if they continue joining like that. But thank God for life that God made it very well and it glued to our, <laughs> it's glued to our head. Because the rate at which this ears, you see like, this is the number one warning sign. I am warning you. I am warning you. Next time you do this thing, ha, huh, I'm coming for you. It could also mean, haven't you heard? Why can't you use your head? But basically, this, this, when they hold the two ears, they know, just know that it's bad. Lobaton, you won't have finished. If the two ears are being held like this and being dragged back and forth, back and forth. Just know you're done. Last, last, beating will enter. If beating does not enter, then that means you're safe. You're, you're very okay. Good to go. Do you understand? But this one, see, my ears are even hurting already. <laughs> but, yes, it could mean a whole lot, guys. Like, I've told you this before. I've told you this before. Don't do this thing again. Hmm? It's a warning sign. <laughs> warning sign. Disciplinary sign. Name it. All. He join. All of them. Join body. Alright, guys. Next gesture I'm going to be talking about is the clapping of hands. As I, as like I said, all the gestures in Nigeria eh, have a gossip link to it. Do you understand? Can we come and do like this? For those of you that are Nollywood fans, when you like here, have you heard? Hey, you don't know what is happening. My sister, come, let me tell you something. Hey, have you heard the gist? Big brother Nigeria is happening, oh, have you heard? Or, hey, you won't have finished. Especially when a girl, <laughs> especially in Nigeria, when a girl gets pregnant or whatever before marriage or what, whichever one, like, I don't know. Some aunties, uncles, I don't know, but basically this is what I see in the movies and sometimes I've, I think I've actually seen it one on one, like, you won't have finished. Lobaton. It has finished. As in, there's nothing you can do about it. Do you understand? <laughs> nothing you can do about it. You cannot do me anything. What can you do? When fight. Let me tell you, this one has fight and gossip to it. Do you understand? What can you do? Then they will not come and join you. Like, hey. Yo. See, I've cleaned my lip, my lipstick self because of this thing. Ooh, ooh, have you seen yourself? Ooh, you cannot do me anything. Ooh, town crier. <laughs> See, guys, this video is cracking me up because, like, literally, I know most Nigerians are on this table. See, if we should not pretend or even write any any funny thing in the comment section. Just go and represent your yourself. Represent yourself. Or this one could mean okay. Did I give you the snapping of finger? Oh God, I forgot one. I forgot one meaning to it. This one like, you won't have finished. Is it that that person is carrying your name to you? Kuku Amadi or her? So just go and carry your Bible and start praying. Like we shall see. You understand? So watch it. How many of you are familiar with this? Nonsense. That's number one meaning. Rubbish. What's this one saying? Please excuse me. I don't even know what this one is saying. See, eh? 
I don't know. It doesn't have one meaning, okay? So if I'm not able to tell you all the meaning, just take the one I've given you and go and find out the rest. Assignment. Or if you want part two, for me to come back and tell you all of them, I'll come back and tell you. Just leave a comment, okay? And I'll do that for you because you're my very, very important people, okay? So guys, the last one I'm going to be talking about is the to fear aqua. God forbid. It shall not be my portion. All Nigerians do this one. It's exception of nobody. See, unless you were born in the abroad, brought up in the abroad, last class, if you come back to Nigeria, you still jam this one. Do you understand? You will do it. <laughs> if you were born outside the country, I'm so sorry that I'm too Nigerian in this video, but see, of course, I'm a Nigerian. I'm not, there's, there's no other blood in me, okay? But yes, for my non-Nigerians, when you see a Nigerian doing this, God forbid, it's not my portion. To fear aqua. Mm -mm. Hey, Inyama, like this thing is irritating. Despicable. A whole lot. Okay? So, guys, I'm going to stop here. All right? Just let me know which one you're on. Which one is your favorite gesture. Okay? And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then what are you waiting for? Like, I don't know what you're waiting for. You need to do that, like, now. Okay? All right, guys. So, I'm going to see you in my next video. And I do hope you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, like I said, just go and do it. Or else. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to stay fabulous. Love you all. Bye.